Thanks for chopping it up with us on the Butcher's Block. I'm Adam. I'm Adine. I'm Patrick. And, and we, we are Chef's Chef Trio. Trio. And guys, we are super excited today because we are filming our pilot for our YouTube channel. And we just wanted to come to you today and let you know what you can expect from us, who we are, all of that good stuff. But before we get into all of that, Patrick's going to tell us about these beautiful treats right in front of us, which will have something special each time. So what you guys see in front of you is our take on a crostini. We decided to do a little bit something a little bit different on this. We uh, rubbed the bread down after toasting with a little bit of uh, garlic olive oil. We took a fresh piece of garlic and rubbed it down nice and nice and coated, so it's really garlicky. We topped it also with some mild gouda, some sauteed onions with a little bit of sun-dried tomato, and some thick sliced bacon. Essentially, think of your old school cheese toast that you used to get in grade school. Just glammed up with a little cup. You, mm. That's a good word, girl. And also, we paired it with a creamy tomato and basil soup. So this, that's another way you can do it. You can dunk it. You can also put it into a shooter if you want to just take a quick little shot of it with a little bite. There's all kinds of ways you can play with it, but this is what we came up with. To, to you know, It's cold outside. It's snowing. Something nice and warm and hearty to have yes. on a nice, cold, snowy day. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like... The grown and sexy version of a grilled cheese. Ooh, yes. paired with a nice red wine. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I okay. need that in my life. Okay. We go, we'll have a red wine type deal mm -hmm. going on for our, one of our next episodes for you. So, to start off with, you can expect every 1st and 15th of the month to get a new update from us with one of your favorite local DMV area event planners, chefs, or food truck vendors. And to tell you a little bit about us, I guess I'll start. I'm Adam. I am the baby of the group. Love me. <laughs> so I come at this from a musical background. <laughs> Leave me alone. You love it. So I come from a musical background. I'm actually a director of music and artist in residence at two different churches. And I actually came to the table or the butcher's block because of Patrick and his love of baking, and I said, well, there's a little bit more um, of a market for wedding cakes and specialty designer cakes and things like that, so I ended up getting involved in that, although he still did all the baking, I just did all the decorations. Um, and then all of a sudden comes along this wonderful friend of ours, Undine, Ain't she pretty, y'all? Of course. <laughs> She's the mama bear of the group. And we just, all three have been working together for so many times and several events that we said, mm, it makes so much better sense to just dissolve the side businesses, the personal businesses, and go into business together. So, team, boop, boom. <laughs> all right. So, you know what, Andy, why don't you go next? Okay, so he is the baby of the bunch. Uh, I am the mama bear. I'm the oldest. Um, What's water, however <laughs> you look at it. <laughs> so uh, I came in, I had Undine's Love Bites. Um, and as it, was, as it was stated earlier, we just chose to work together um, and bring our businesses together. I, I started out catering when I was married. Um, I hated cooking growing up. Because my grandmother was always in the kitchen at church cooking for everyone. And I just hated it. But I don't know I, how because, girl, when you, you get in this kitchen, kitchen, you throw down. Look, y'all, don't, 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 don't let her humbleness fool you. This this fine woman right here, <laughs> this chef right here, this home chef, yes, she cooks and she throws <laughs> down. She also got us into vegan foods. Why don't you tell us a little about the vegan foods that you've yeah, been cooking lately? Um, my oldest daughter, she is vegan, and she's gotten me into trying a lot of vegan dishes. And I, they're my guinea pigs when I... And I love every minute of it. ...make the dishes, and they are really good. And um, I've come to find out that vegan food is not what you think it is, not boring. It's, it's really good. So. But it's still a lie. <laughs> But you know what? Honestly, I mean, I have to tip my hat to you because I was like Adam. As Adam said, it was a lie. I felt the same way on a lot of it. And Undine slowly but surely started working things in. We have a game night that we do on Fridays. And she would come over and we would make different foods. And I would try it. I'm like, wow, 
I would have never thought this was a vegan dish. Mm -hmm. If you all guys have not tried a vegan deviled eggs yet, it's out there floating around on TikTok, oh YouTube. Mm -hmm. Do yourself a favor, try it. It is really good. Um, but as as un, like Undine myself, I grew up in the kitchen with my grandmother and my mom, and I will say that I had a love hate relationship with the, with cooking. I was just more so intrigued as to how did you go from having flour to having cornbread or cake, or how did you go from having flour and gravy and pork chops and all these things. So I just wanted, I was curious. I was that kid that always wanted to know. I wasn't that guy that wanted to go outside and play football or anything like that. So as I got older, I didn't cook as much until I got with Adam and we started to want to save money. So I started, I brushed off my skills, started cooking a little bit. And I remember one Christmas where I made cupcakes as a gift to give to family members and friends as a gift for us to go out and buy things. Money was a little tight. And our upstairs neighbor came down. She said, hey, I got, some sea I got some seafood. Would you like some? Now, anybody that knows me knows I love seafood. And yeah, so did my homegirl over here. Nice we, we love seafood. Yeah. I ain't turned down to trade seafood. So I said, sure. Would you like some cupcakes? Mm -hmm. I had 36 left. I wanted to get rid of them. We didn't need to eat it. So I was like, well, here. Why don't you go ahead and take these? Well, let's say about 12 to 24 hours later, my neighbor comes back downstairs and asks if we got some more. Uh, I unfortunately did not and told her we didn't. She said, well, I need to place an order. Now, it was shocking to me because I didn't think I was good enough to, you know, have a business, not let alone sell cupcakes. So I told her, no, I'm, I don't sell them. She says, well, you do now. And thus, Cupcakes by Patrick was born. Fast forward a few, few years, we had our first summer tasting. We needed finger foods and we remembered Undine has Undine's Love Bites and we already loved her foods. So it's like, well, that would be a natural pairing. We already work a lot together for game nights and little events here and there. Let's just go ahead and try something together. And it was a hit, y'all. It was so oh much fun. So much fun it was. It was mm -hmm. a lot. When was. you talk about people in your element, it was just such a ball. And everyone had a good time. And from there, we, like, like she said, like Adam said, we just partnered up on a lot of different things. So we were like, what are we doing? We could be making money together. So let's just cut all the other stuff out, get together, do what we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a perfect segue into talking about our lineup that we have coming at your way. So the first one that we have is going to be on February 15th, and that is Karen with Canchi Designs, who actually introduced the three of us, yes. um, and we've been absolutely inseparable since. So check out Canchi Designs. She is a local favorite DMV area event planner. And that'll be on the 15th. And then on the 1st of March, we have a local favorite, Chef Anthony Thomas. And his story is just amazing. As amazing as his food. Uh, oh, my goodness. I can't wait. He has a kid cookbook, doesn't he, for vegan? vegan, vegan he has vegan? several cookbooks yeah. out. Several mm -hmm. of them. Um, I think the title of it is The, the Little Vegan. Vegan. Yeah. The Little Vegan. Mm -hmm. um, so that's coming on the 1st. And then... The next one that we have after that is going to be on March 15th, and that one is actually another friend of ours um, at the table here, and she is Shaban with Sweet Sorrel Tea. tea. Mm, it is so good. Oh y my goodness. Ooh. And she'll put some rum in it if you ask her to. Along with, some, <laughs> I know. along with some other treats she has going on too, oh, she'll yeah. share a little bit more about what she has going on on her side of things as well. But we, mm -hmm. if you have any favorite locals that you would like us to interview, drop it down in the comments, in the comment right. box down below. Mm -hmm. um, we would love to learn a little bit more about who's in our area. Interview them, give give them a platform, mm -hmm. learn a little bit more about them, and learn a little bit more about us. Just spread the love, y'all. Let's spread the love. Definitely. Be on the lookout for our next updates on the 1st and the 15th of every month. Thanks, Thanks for, for chopping it up with, with Chef Strio. See ya. Bye. Bye.